That's right. Let's go. All right. So what I want to do here is have the medium runway. And then we've got this area here, which is connected on the ground. We're going to want multiples of these, these aircraft stands. So I'm going to go ahead and get those now to get them out of the way. And uh, I had this organized, I thought, to where I could put another one right here, right there. Got it. All right. And then I could theoretically come around and do this too, which I think is doable. Kind of ruins the, kind of messes up the road a little bit, but it, it's doable. So we deal like this, and then we'd have one more on this side, which I have to build the building down for, but we can do it. So that's a lot of stuff. Lots of commercial aircraft getting ready here, okay? We're gonna have multiple runways. It's gonna be sweet. Let's go ahead and actually do that now. I want the infrastructure in place for this. So, asphalt runway is 150,000. So what I'm thinking is we put them really close together. Mm. I need them separated though, so they can have taxiways. That's a problem. Mm. I can't have as many as I want, unless I bring this like all the way to the very end here, like this. We have a taxiway there, which takes them around where they need to go, brings them in. It's gonna be kind of tight. It's better, I think, to do it this way. Like right on each other, like this. We could go... Okay, I think... I think I got the plan, guys. Hear me out on this. It's going to be a wild ride. I think this works, though. We're going to put this here. I want taxiways set up like this. Um, hang on. First, I'm going to remove this and replace you the service road here. Replace the service road with a road that goes there only. Okay? Because this doesn't have to wind around like that. Then, the taxiway is going to take the big planes. Hopefully big enough. I'm not sure. But we're going to have the taxiway come around like this. And then, it'll end up being about like here. And then it comes all the way up to here. And then we want the entry exit. Is this for the, yeah, for the big ones here. We're going to put this right here. Right there. And then we take the uh, taxi with foundation. We stretch it all the way like that. Okay. So the planes are going to come around and up through here. That's how they get to this airport or this runway. Then this taxiway comes all the way over here. Uh, oh, hang on. This is a problem. Uh, yeah, it's because of the direction of this. I think we need them to take off both the same way. That might be how it has to be done. Because if they don't take off the same direction, then we're going to have some planes landing here and traveling this way. But then we're also going to have planes landing here and trying to go the opposite direction on the same taxiway. We'd like them to all flow the same direction, right? So I think I'm actually going to flip this around. We might be able to just rebuild these on this side, you know, make this easier and do it that way. And honestly, I have the money. I could just, I really don't want to spend that right now. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. One thing is, though, is we're gonna need a service road right there. That's a pretty easy decision. I think I'm gonna do the runway. You know what? You know what, guys? Let's just let's just chill for a second, okay? Let's just chill for a second and assess the situation a bit more conservatively. Right? We don't need all this stuff right now, right? That's not required. It's not necessary. So why don't we just say, 
You're going to take off, go that way, right? And then you're going to land this way too. And you land and you come like this. And then one thing we could do is maybe have a landing and a takeoff runway. Like one runway dedicated to landing. But wouldn't we want that to be a different direction? I'm actually not sure. You had them coming in to land as they... Eh. Eh, I don't know. Taxi Foundation. Let's just connect this up for now. For now, just to get it running. We're going to go like that. All right. Hopefully the workers get on that. Then, Terminal Foundation. We got to extend it. At least down to here. We are going to put... Information desks, the medium-sized ones. We're going to put them here. I, I, I like this setup with the flight information being right here. We're going to put this kind of back like that. And then another information desk there. And then we'll just kind of do the same thing we did over there where people can get their info really quick. Okay. Then we have check-in desk. We're going to go medium on these because we know we're going to need a lot of things. And then we get baggage stuff, too. Oh, that's how you get the baggage. Oh. I, was, I, see all, I saw this, and I kind of said, you know, like, these guys don't do baggage. But now I'm thinking... We need to replace this with this, right? We need to replace this. This needs to go there, there, and th like that all needs to be changed so that we can have our baggage system set up because I want baggage coming in from this side too. So that means check-in. I would like check-in to be here then because that does what I needed to do. So check-in would have to be on this side We'd go about, let's say here. Let's just pick a spot. Pick a spot and say here, here, and here. Okay. So that's six booths for check-in right there. But they form lines, sort of share. So it's like only three, it's like three gates, right? We have one, two, three, four, five. So we're gonna need I don't know. I think this... Yeah, I think that's how that works, right? Because these guys are taking two at a time per flight. I think that's how that works. So we would actually want more than this. Here and here. And then one right here. And then that's the end of it, though. That's fine. Okay. Yes, I know I'm expanding incredibly fast. No, I don't want to spend all my cash right now, but I really want to get this stuff working. All right, so hopefully all the workmen get all this stuff done. I need a taxiway also brought in from this side. And I'm going to make it wide about like there. Five and five. That looks good. This one will just have this. I'm not sure how wide this needs to be, so I wanted to look at that, too. All right. And then, I guess from here, we need a sidewalk for people to be able to walk in here. So we want... Nope. Uh, this. Sidewalk. No, I think I need people being dropped off. Let's do a car stop on this side. We'll say uh, here, here, here. That's a car stop. Bus stop from this side. We'll just go ahead and do it here like this. I'm good with this. That looks nice. Looks very clean. And then we want the taxis to be able to stop a little bit closer to the door. Uh, yeah, right here. Right here, and let's say here. I might just let him in here, too. 
Yeah, might as well. Let him in there, too. This will just be a regular old walkway. And then we want a crosswalk to be there. Add this to sidewalks like that and like that. And we'll just make a big sidewalk there, too. Okay. So we got a million bucks left. Can I pay any of this back? Or do I have to keep... Uh, do I have to keep... See, if I repay... How much do I still owe? 1.7 million. Wow. I still have 264 hours. It's measuring it in hours. I haven't paid hardly any of this back yet. It's all good. Everything's going to be fine, guys. This is going to work. At least I, th I think it's going to work. I hope it's going to work. All right. So what I want to do is have the walls. We're going to have the walls go in about like this. And I think it's going to go about here. And then that's it. And then on this side, we're going to bring a wall up. Just like that, because I want this all to be closed in. But this is where we're going to have security. Security's going to do the thing right about like... Right about like this, okay? So we're going to have security go in, let's say... Exit, exit, so about here. And then the security booth will be the medium ones. And then we need this to be a secure zone, so let's rock that too. All the way up here, all the way up here, and all the way like that, and like that, and like that. And all this is going to be secure, too, because we're going to go ahead and delete this. Okay. Next, we're going to take secure area. Yep. Security medium. This is a big boy, man. This thing is huge. Um, interesting. I'm going to have to go more. We're going to have to go a little bit more. How's our queues gonna line up for this? If I connect, probably to here. Yeah, from here. And then we go all the way down about like that. I mean, I guess. Build this queue to here and then down like that. And then we're gonna build this queue uh, here down like so. This one will build to here and down like so. Oh, I need to go out more. I really, I don't know how to, how do I, wait, request cleaning, rename, change color. No, no, how do I remove the queue, the build queue? How do I delete it? Is there like a, is there a delete function in it? I, I don't know how to delete it. Because it, it's messed up. I want to fix it. I don't want to have to rebuild the whole thing. Surely that's something that was thought about, right? Like, that's got to be something that was being thought about. I just feel like that's, you know, pretty silly. That it wasn't thought of. Because now I've got this problem where this queue doesn't work. Like, I can't have that queue. Yeah, that doesn't work. I need all of these queues to be different. Like, frick, I can't even get out of that. I need these queues to be lined up differently. There has to be a way to delete this. There's got to be a way to do that. Change color... Rename, request maintenance. Come on, they're just stanchions. Let me move them. Let me delete them. I, I can't. That is so messed up. All right, note to self, always do security first. Because I think I just messed up and made a whole lot of money. I just spent a whole lot of money. These are 15,000 a piece. I need them to be 
I could actually just pull this in a little bit. That would have worked. Now I can't move this, though. Oh, I didn't build it yet, so I can actually delete that. All right. But it looks like I'm going to have to rebuild these. Shit. There's flights scheduled already? How? Why are there flights scheduled here already? Oh, what a doofus. I'm such a doofus. All right, you know what? Let's just do five for now. We'll just delete this one only. And we'll see how this goes for the time being. We just want to make money, right? We can fix these later. Why are these flights being delayed? Do I not have employees? There's nobody taking their tickets. That's why. All right, you know what? This is deactivated, and so are you. You four, you need to go up and do something different, okay? I feel like all of you need to go up and... This is way too many. <laughs> I've got way too many information desks, man. I need my employees to get up here and start taking tickets. Right? The people I'm paying money to. Can you please go up and do that? Come on! All right, we need more people. That's all there is to it. There's just not enough passenger service agents. Which is so bizarre because I have so I feel like I have so many. I feel like I have so many of them. Okay, I have more now. Nobody's here to take their tickets. Come on, boarding pass, please. Let's go. There we go. Somebody's finally here. Let's go. Get them on the plane. There you go. Get them on the plane, please. Thank you. Off they finally go. All right. So I'm going to turn you on for commercial flights. Not for general aviation. This is only for commercial flights. Yes. For medium aircraft. And then um, operational mode will be... Uh, both takeoff mode uh, size of the start of the runway okay so I need a couple of things before I can do this okay extra things that I haven't done yet and I'm gonna work on that in a second so I probably don't even want this to be on yet actually all right I, I need to focus on this right now so for security again we want the medium ones and I think probably what we'll do is we'll bring these up a little bit just so they're not really crowding this. And I, th I think I just need to eliminate this whole wall, honestly. And then we'll go back to security really quick. And I'm going to have this area not be staffed. All right, so here we go. Before we start making walls make the stuff you want to be here. So we're gonna go one, two, and I think just these two will be okay for now. Eventually, I think having three will be good, but I'm gonna do two just for now. And then we'll have the wall come up like that, and then over like that. And we might as well just bring it all the way over. Fine. You win, guys. You win. Get them their tickets. Let's go. I need more passenger service agents. All these flights are being delayed. And I think it's because of the lack of personnel. I mean, I have plenty of security guys, but I have nobody taking tickets. Right? Like, there's nobody taking tickets. Also, let me take a look at operations. That's what I thought. Baggage handling is done. Let's get... Uh, catering service. Yeah, catering trucks. All right, so what we want to do is we're going to have security people here too. What we want to do is set up a couple of different things. First is for vehicles, I need these pull trucks and stuff, right? Did I buy those yet? I'm actually not sure. Did I buy those yet? Pushback truck. Okay, I've got these already. Good. Stair truck. All that stuff is good. So I actually don't need that stuff. Perfect. I forgot what I'd already bought. 
Uh, the next thing then I'm gonna need is the fuel depot for a a one, and we already have that. So next is the contract for it, which I might have better fuel deals now. Um, what is my what is my current deals? Fuel and go. What's that current arrangement? One dollar per liter, 0.2 per liter of Jetta One. Okay, so one in 0.2. And then you, what's my deal with you? One in 0.2. These are all both good, so I'm, I'm all right. So the next will be, we need uh, gates for this. So we want boarding desks. We're going to do the medium ones. And the medium ones will have, I guess they move through two lines at a time. That's cool. So we'll go like that. And, um, yep, that'll be one. And then we'll have right here. And like that. And then like that. And then on this side, we got another one, right? I know we're just like, there's so much expense in this. And uh, you're, you're right, there is. There's a lot of expense. Uh, we're going to put another desk right here. We're not going to line it up specifically, but we're just going to have it maybe back a little bit. I could put it right here too, but then they have to like, eh, you know what? It's fine. Let's just put it like this. It doesn't have to be lined up. So we'll go all the way back by the wall. And then the last one will be here, which we need to make in a secure area. So this whole thing is now secure zone. There we go. And then this one goes like so perfect okay pieces are coming together we just need seating same arrangement as over there which is you know probably should have been doing this only over there but it's okay whoops i clicked the wrong button here we go oh my god that sucks this over this is overlaid over top of it like this that sucks there we go. That's fine. And then in here we'll go like that and 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 that for now. Over here, we'll rotate this and have it go uh, on this side. We'll have it be like this. No. Uh, no, that's going to get in the way of the queue. I think that'll get in the way of the queue. Let's go like seating. Yeah. I don't want to get in the way of this queue, so I think we'll put it back here. And we'll say maybe hmm, I didn't think about this. This will work on this side though. About like this call that good I think over here we're just gonna have like this you know what like I think maybe you guys could just use these seats that's fine you can just use these seats okay Whew, that's a lot of expenses we're down to 874 and we need to start making money now taxiways let's take a look Taxiway paths, I want you guys to come in from this side, of course, all the way over. Right? All the way over like that. Okay. There, 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 and there. And then from this side, all the way over like so. Okay. So now you've got that. No boarding desk connected. We're going to fix that right now. Hmm. Yeah. This one gets connected to there. This one gets connected to there. And these are ready to go. These are ready to go now. Yep. They are. Good. Um, once these ones are built, we'll connect that too. There we go. Yeah, yeah. See? As soon as this gets built... It will, like, destroy the wall behind it. Like, I didn't have to do that. It did it all by itself. It's 
It's kind of wild. So we want the two-way door. I mean, we're already doing four four wide, so we might as well just keep it going. Yeah, and look, it doesn't even... That's silly. I don't like how it does that. And like that. Okay. And I'm going to put doors in there anyway because I think it looks better. So big door. Big door. Big door. And uh, big door. And then we'll put the wall in right like that. Okay. Good. Can I put the hole outside as secure as well? Except this isn't. That's the problem. Um, it can be, though. All I have to do is... I need a fence. We have fences. They don't do anything, really, other than just, like, protect this. So I'm going to fence this in. Hmm, interesting. All right, I'm starting to think that maybe we move our staff checkpoint here. Actually, I can fix it. If I just do this directly like that, that does technically close it off for this checkpoint. And then I can run the checkpoint directly to here. That I think that serves the same purpose. Now, right now, fences don't do anything, but it does say within the documentation, the game forums and things like that, that uh, fences c will do something eventually. And it's sort of like a planning for the future sort of thing. So we'll have this fence set up and then it will sort of lock this area down. And then uh, kind of the same thing over here with regards to this parking lot, you know? So you would, you would probably want to lock this parking lot down, theoretically. So take the fence which costs 10 bucks a tile and uh let's say hypothetically we want to extend the parking lot again which we might actually want to do that so i'm gonna probably bring you like this and then just over oops why not oh here we go I'll just bring you over like this uh a little bit further i like that and then bring you all the way over like that like a theoretically this locks it down sort of thing doesn't really but we'll just say that it does okay good let's just go ahead and have that flight be delayed so are we are we even close to making profit yet this looks like we're down by three thousand dollars looks like one thousand dollars nine hundred dollars oh man hey it does flip green just ever so slightly does it flip green cool all right, now we need baggage. I also need more uh, security staff, so let's get that too. Security staff. Uh, I'm gonna need probably a good amount of number of, I already have a good number of ramp agents, so that's good. Uh, where are my security candidates? You, hired, 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 hired. That's at least four more. That should be good. Get them to work in here, hopefully. And then um, for baggage, okay? Baggage is a big deal because we're doing baggage now. And that takes kind of a system to set this up. First, I want vehicles. And I think I'm going to want like this baggage truck with a roof. Let's get one of those. I might want another one of those actually because they have a lot of planes. Let's get another one of those. Or we can get ones with have that are roofless. Yeah, baggage truck that are roofless. We'll get another one of those, and then I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna buy another one. That's um, these little baggage truck. These these little ones actually. Let's buy a couple of these. Mm, I like the big ones though. Does it matter? I don't think it matters. We'll get the ones with the roof. The roof protects the driver from any weather, and the open cabin provides the driver with a cool breeze. Okay, you know what? I got a couple of them. That'll be good for now. What we need is I believe they're gonna go in here. The, the trucks that are going to be... Yeah, this, this has 16 spaces. So our, our luggage trucks will be going through here. But what we want to do is set up a hub so that all of the baggage ends up ha happening and, like, coming to an area before it's distributed to, like, the rest of the stuff. And I'm also going to want to have a service road, I think. Yeah, an asphalt service road. 
I'm going to want one of these to be here too. I need this to all be connected. So I'm actually going to do that too. Oh, I can't. I could have put the fence in. That's okay. Just get rid of this. We don't need that. So this is going to allow the baggage trucks to work their way into this area too. So what we want, okay, and this is sort of like loading baggage onto the planes and stuff. What we want to do is we want to set up, if I can find it, it's uh, baggage, 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 baggage. Where are you? Ah, conveyor belt system. We want one of these baggage bays. Now the baggage bay is a really complicated, it's, it's, it's just a little confusing. And when I first looked at it, I was really lost because notice how it says you have to place it inside. Okay. It's gotta be an indoor building, but it also says that it has to be surrounded by service roads. Service roads are not typically something you'd put uh, inside. Although in this case we can. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to build an indoor facility which is what's going to be right here. We're probably gonna have two of them like here and here, but an indoor facility, right? That we can route bags towards. And uh, I would like to offer bag. I would like to offer luggage over here too, if I could. So uh, what we're going to want to do is see the directions of the arrows here, right? The bottom row comes in and then slides to the tray. The top row just keeps going. This tells me that luggage from the airport, when they check it in, is going to come from the left side along that bottom that bottom track and then go into the trays to get in with the, the vehicles. So if I set this kind of along here, let's say we make a, a foundation to sort of make this uh, a thing. Let's say I make this whole thing a foundation, like right here. Okay. Now we're going to need service roads on both sides of this, right? So this is going to be like a whole big ordeal. We're going to have a big old facility for luggage right here. So let's just mark that and make it. But we're going to want to remove... We're going to want to remove some of these walls once we're in here. For now, this is our solution. But we're going to want to remove these walls. So let's get a quick second into this. Fuel trucks coming into... Provide us with more fuel and charge us a bunch of cash. Once this goes in, we're going to want to route conveyor belts to this. So this is where we're sending all the luggage. It's going to go on the cars to get loaded onto the planes. Okay. But we're going to send it from, from, from here, right? And there's still no security here. So everybody's like, dude, how do I get in my plane? Probably because you don't have any security to check you in. Uh, I'm sorry about that. I tried to hire more staff, but I clearly don't have enough. So we're going to have another security officer followed by a, another security officer. A couple of rejects here. Uh, let's make sure we have like more people to take tickets and all that stuff too, huh? So we want to go with... Passenger service agents are all bad though. They're all really bad. Uh, I'm going to wait on that. Instead, we're just going to make sure... You know what? Let's make sure we're not waste. Yes, this is a waste. This is why they're not doing their jobs. They're all prioritizing the information desks above all else. So, let's just have just the two information desks. And the other two can be in the ticketing booths. So there you go. Actually, let's actually take tickets, okay? Now, we can't offer the ability to take luggage. Because... We don't have the path set up for that. I'm working on that right now. And up here is where we're going to end up doing that. So let me get rid of some of these walls. We're going to get rid of, let's say, this one first. Just to see what we can get for this. Yeah. Let's get rid of this one. We want to flip this. Uh, wait. Yeah, this is, this is right. I just keep flipping the camera instead. All right, so all the way in here, get rid of the walls, hopefully, and not yet, not yet. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, guys. You're just standing around. Use your deconstruction skills. Like I just gives the job to people who are super far away. All right, conveyor belts, baggage bay. So this confusing contraption is going to go like right here. 
but we need service roads all the way around it. Okay, that's the confusing bit. So we're gonna put you, I think about like this. Yeah, I think about like this, but I want it this way so that the baggage comes in from that side, yeah. I think that's what we'll end up doing here. So we're gonna go about like here and that baggage handling, that baggage booth gets put there. Then I wanna get rid of the wall on this side too. And we're gonna replace this area here with service roads. I know this is also a service road and I could have done it sideways, but I'm gonna do it this way instead. Just for the sake of like moving the, the conveyor belts and stuff the way I want them. We're gonna turn this into a service road, okay? You can lay the service roads inside. You just can't do it with the walls. So you have to remove the walls to lay the service roads. So it's indoors, but there's no wall. Does that make sense? Not to me. Not really. Where's the, where, I don't know where their load bearing walls are, but we've got the service road popped in here now. It's all the way around. Okay. And then this can get turned on eventually and we can start having bags put here. Now the bags need to come in on conveyor belts. And uh, I'm actually thinking I should have went one more in. Yeah, I should have went one more in. That's a mistake, which I probably cannot fully fix unless I can do it from underground. We'll see. I may have to repay for that, which is going to be a real drag. That's $50,000, but uh, we may have to. Okay, let me get myself oriented here. This down here, we want the conveyor belts coming through here. And I'm going to have to slide these eventually too. I can make another one, but I really need to remake all of these because they're their lines just don't do what they need to do. So I need to remake all of these, but I'm pretty sure that we're gonna have the conveyor belts coming through this way. So let's have the conveyor belt here and we want to have the belts positioning, taking them all the way, let's say that way, that way, that way. Uh, no, it's gonna end up being like this. There we go. Like, that. Yep, that's what I want. And you're going to come all the way over like this, and then straight back this way. That's the above ground one. Now, there used to be an underground belt, but I don't see that anymore. So, is that research now? Because there used to be an underground belt. I did it again, guys. Son of a... I, I hate this. I hate that you have to manually put them on there. I think that might be a research project now, which is going to make this infinitely harder. <laughs> like, I want the underground belts. Baggage is going to cost me too much money. I probably should get out of debt before I do this. Where are my security guards? Why are they not here? You, you are not, this many security guards are not necessary. Like they're all over here. Oh wait, are these turned on? Are they even turned on? Yeah, they're turned on. What the hell? Like, oh, I didn't build the queues yet. Shit. All right, build the queues. Um, we'll have them be, uh, we'll just do it like, maybe like this. I don't know, something like that. Go squiggly lines with it. Uh, and we'll do the same thing on this side. We'll bring it down like this, over like this, cross like this, and uh, we'll make it go like that. All right, there, I built the queues. Can we have people staff this now? Come on, security guards. Get over here and staff this. I hate that they're not doing that. Um, I need bathrooms in this terminal. That's something we need pretty quickly here too. And uh, again, there's a whole lot of room here. I probably didn't need this much room, but whatever. I, I'll, I'll just, whatever. <laughs> it's too big. Uh, we'll have a big bathroom here. That's what we need. One there and also one over like this. 11 by eight, 11 by nine. Oh good, you can't 
just add on to the bathroom because it makes a whole new bathroom. Isn't that lovely? So weird. The inability to expand zones. Who would have thought that that would be something we would want to do as players? I'm sorry. I'm, I'm just going to make fun of it because it's really obnoxious. What year is it? All right. There we go. So I want to take and put a door there. Uh, we'll go in from the side like this. And then again, same thing with the toilets. We're just going to have them uh, along the back. How much money is this? Like 500 each? Yeah, 500 bucks a piece. These are expensive. And then we'll also have them be like this too. Yep. Then we pop in walls. Right there. Okay. And then we're going to have the sinks. The sinks are going to be along... Say they're along uh, this side. Like so. And along this side like so. And then the hand dryers will be along the walls here and uh, here. Done deal. Big bathrooms. Female, male, turn them on if I can. Not yet. Okay, we'll turn them on later. But at least this gives them some bathrooms so they don't have to go super far. Honestly, I can't figure out why... Why in the hell are, you, are, are these not working right now? You're all hooked up, aren't you? Turn you there and turn you here. But why are these not working? The security checkpoint is not operated. Is it because everybody's working over here instead? Like all my security guards are hanging out here instead. Wait, are you like assigned to a certain terminal only? Is that a thing? Like, can I see an in-depth look at this security officer? Assigned terminal, none. So, if you're not assigned to a terminal, then how do I get you to work over here instead? Uh, how do I get that to be a thing? Also, I need a staff room over here as well. That would be a good idea. And honestly, I think I'm gonna put the staff room on the security areas. Like, we need another staff room over here too. If I go like this, as a staff room really quick, that's the staff zone. No, this should be a staff room, not just the staff zone. Yeah, it is. This should be, this is another staff room. Right, and then the small door can go here. And then all I need is like places for them to rest and things, right? So. We'll go seating. Give them like nice couches and stuff to, to hang out on. Right, and then maybe along this wall here too. I don't know, something like that. And that'll be a staff room that's open to all staff. Now they can rest in here if they want to. All right, I think I'm pretty much done with the building building parts, right? Getting everything. Oh, you know what? That runway's not on. Oh, we're getting planes in. The bigger planes are here. The bigger planes are here. What are you? Havana 696. Requested services. Okay, they want catering and stuff too. Do I have that done? I'm all over the place. I'm sorry. I don't have catering, so you're not going to get it. Sorry. Nobody who's coming to this airport is going to get that. Are you not able to get in here? Wait, what? Wait, what? Oh my god. This is so silly. Stop deleting my walls. Stop it. And then we don't have, they don't have an exit. That's a problem. 
Not my problem. <laughs> yes, that sounds like a you problem, bro. <laughs> okay, hold on. Let's put this right. Uh, uh, structure not valid. I'm gonna put you here, I, I guess. Yeah, here. Come on, game. You're not putting any of my... I need to figure out how to get my security staff into this area. How do I get them to work here? There is no... Like, there's nothing graphically, as far as I can see, that tells me how to get these guys to work here. Like, they're all working the one over there instead. Offered contracts, loans, fees, blah, 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 blah. Operations. I'd like to do baggage handling, but... Without having underground, I'm going to have to unlock that probably. Let me see. After catering service is done, we're going to go like this. Tell me we get underground. High-speed conveyor belts. Okay, I want underground ones. How do I get that? Belt loaders. Fine. Subway permits. How do I get the underground belts? There used to be underground belts, guys. Are they? Maybe they're automated now. Requires several different types of belt to fully function. Uh huh. Conveyor belt. If I was good to go like this, will you put this underground? This is the illegal position. Because you're not letting me go underground with it. That's the thing. Like, you're supposed to let me go underground with this. That was the whole point, man. That's the whole point. Huh. All right, I'm gonna have to check this out and leave it here. Um, I'm gonna look into this. I, I don't know where they put the underground belts. Because I had underground belts like two years ago and I was playing this out. When I played this on Twitch. And I don't know where they are now. So I gotta look into that because they're clearly not here. But I think we got a ton done today. This video is actually quite productive in building, but unfortunately I still have like a lot of stores to put in over here. I got a problem with too much security on this side and I'm not sure how to deal with it or how, what to do about it. And then I've got, uh, you know, I think we got ticketing agents that are doing okay here. But we're not getting people in. Like, they're just not... They're not able to get in because there's no exit. And then uh, I still have to figure out how to get construction guys to come back here, too. Construction guys. Yeah. About that. We're just going to delete this and this for now. Because I know that that's going to end up being my exits. And actually, this whole side here is going to go as well. Oh, well. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave it here. Thank you very much for watching. I appreciate you. You can give it a like if you like the video. You can subscribe if you haven't already. I'm going to figure out the conveyor belt thing, and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye.